Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Well, today I'm going to discuss the, I would say, uh, unfair uh, freezing, or if you want to call it uh, uh, seizing of uh, Russia's assets by some Western uh, institutions and countries. Uh, and I will uh, put it in the context of uh, Robin Hood. So <clears throat> I think we're all familiar with uh, the Robin Hood's tales and uh, our tale. And um, uh, I remember reading it in sixth grade or something like that, uh, fifth grade, sixth grade. And uh, nevertheless, uh, it's like this uh, in the medieval uh, England uh, at the beginning of what, 1000. 100 or something like that, 200, and it was uh, also the uh, uh, King uh, Lionheart and blah 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 coming from the Crusades. So, nevertheless, this uh, guy was an outlaw, Robin Hood, who was uh, robbing in uh, Sherwood Forest. It was a forest, and uh, uh, he and other outlaws, uh, you can call them thieves, whatever you want to call them, uh, they were robbing. Uh, noblesmen or rich people who were passing through with his gang uh, you know they would stop them fight them get their money and live as they lived and they would uh, spread the, the spoils of the robbery to uh, the needy people in the villages people that were poor so taking from the rich and giving to the poor that was the robin hood uh, analogy here now <clears throat> the government cannot be robin hood so in this case we have uh, a robin hood which is uh, you know the russians are the rich the bad guys here which the rich people the nobles men nobles uh, men were the bad dudes in the medieval times obviously and and you have the peasants who were the ones that were poor little guys all right they were ex ex exploited by the rich people by the nobles men and so on so then this guy was taking from the rich, the bad, and giving to the good somehow, the good, the, the, the peasants, the weak, the poor. So nevertheless, here it's United States, who's the Robin Hood, taking from the bad guys, the bad dude, nobles man, uh, Russians, who exploit, attack the poor Ukrainians. Well, as the story goes, well, from the very the definition, you can't really be a hero Robin Hood when you're part of the, the nobles, uh, nobility. So the United States and its little uh, vulture-like institutions that are everywhere, you know, the financial institutions, they uh, play Robin Hood. And what I'm talking about here, they want to sell, not sell, uh, use the, the Russians' uh, seized uh, assets. They want to use them as they will, they confiscated and reuse them the way they fit. They, they, they feel fit to use them. Well, this is the thing. Uh, it's not their property. Let's say, uh, uh, I'm going to say, I'm going to read the article and then I'm going to comment on this. It's much better. We have republicworld.com uh, from today, May 5th, 2022. And it says EU must confiscate and sell Russian assets, says EU Council President. Well, how can you confiscate and sell something that is not, not yours? It's like I have a... An, uh, fight with a neighbor here let's say and then i have my money in a bank and the bank is owned by another neighbor and that neighbor with the bank doesn't like that i'm uh you know uh i don't know beat up this guy well let let justice take care of that and that's a different that's a matter of justice not a matter of economics i didn't steal it from the neighbors my wealth or whatever my my money like i uh, i'm using your bank nevertheless the neighbor with the bank decides that he's going not allow me to use my money. Moreover, he's gonna take my money and my properties that I have in other locations, houses or, t or land, and they would decide to sell it and use it however they feel fit, however the neighbor, because he doesn't like that I'm beating the, the, this neighbor. Now, what does that have to do with this? And this neighbor does not say he's, he's at war with me. He says, I don't like it. I don't like that you're doing this, you know? what and then what credibility does that bank have anymore and the neighbor that neighbor who who i gave uh, i gave him my money everybody in the neighborhood should say i'm not going to place my money in that bank anymore because if that bank doesn't like my um 
policies or my actions, they can me up. And I don't want to do that. So you look for a different bank or no bank. But you can make your own bank because they're going to, you're going to end up like Saddam probably and what's his name? Uh, Gaddafi. If you make your own bank, remember? And Ceausescu, the Romanian uh, president. Di dictator, yeah, he was a dictator, yeah. Uh, they wanted to make a bank with the Arabs, and then he ended up as he ended up. That's one of the reasons, I'm not saying that's the reason right there, but there are some, uh, some facts uh, pointing out to, to that kind of uh, connection right there. So, um, and uh, European Union should confiscate and sell Russian assets and uh, that it seized and use the funds to rebu rebuilding Ukraine. They decided with your money what to do. It's like theirs. You can decide with something that's not yours, boy. EU Council President Charles Michel, or Michael, I think Michel, I would, let's say, or maybe, I don't know, said in an interview with the Interfax Ukraine News Agency, I'm absolutely convinced that this is extremely important, not only to freeze assets, but also to make possible to confiscate it, to make it available for the rebuilding of country Ukraine, said Michel. In my opinion, this is the question of fairness. <laughs> He's talking about fairness? Like what? Who are you? What authority do you have over the guy's assets? You're over there to manage, to manage, to make sure they are protected. That's your own, own duty. The old duty that you have, the entire duty, is to make sure that these transactions go through. That's not your money. You understand that? It's not your money. But in my opinion, it's a question of fairness, not only idea to freeze the assets, that's fairness, but the confiscation to make this money available for Ukrainian authorities for uh, uh, trust, for trust. All right. Uh, so he wants to, re he wants to re rebuild Ukraine. Who are you to rebuild Ukraine, by the way? What international forum are you to build Ukraine? You're just another entity. What you you play some uh, some uh, how should I put it? You 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 feel like you're more important than you actually are. You think you're you're one of the maybe they are and we don't know. Uh, they are just the ones that decide every little thing in, on this planet uh, at their whim. They make uh, fairness being the way they want it to be, and they make their own their own kind of fairness. I mean, just put yourself in the place of uh, Ukraine, let's say, or not Ukraine. Put yourself in the place of United States invading Iraq. Let's put that one. It's better. Or uh, uh, illegally bombing Yugoslavia in 1999. Should all the assets or uh, everybody else who invested in the United States should just say we 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 we're, we're out? You're going to say, <laughs> ah, they profit, they wouldn't do that. Yeah, like these guys, they don't get rid of Russian oil, right? Because they still need it. But the same if it's about fairness, right? Justice. Anyway, this is what it is. This guy's, uh, and then again, he says here, I mentioned especially for the rebuilding of the country is a question of fairness, question of justice, Mr. Michel, Charles Michel says. Well, I don't know what kind of justice are you talking about, Michel. What I can, I can think is, I know that if you, Michel, would be in the other camp, you would call this all kind of names. All kind of names. If someone would do this to you, based on your actions that someone else doesn't like, regardless of what kind of actions. Even, even if you're involved, even if you're involved in a, uh, you know, a, a, I don't know, an activity that people that uh, people don't like, or maybe you know, the justice system will step in. Let them do their job. Do well, you think they're going to stop the the Russians? Why by doing something that it's illegal? That is not illegal, fair or unfair. Nevertheless, think about it. Think about the analogy with uh, with the neighbor with the bank. Think about the Iraq invasion. Think about the uh, Yugoslavia invasion. Nobody froze anybody, anybody, anything there. Why? Because it was considered being the right thing. But you know that all those things, not all, but it was based on certain, uh, you know, the Colin Powell's uh, little drawings at the United Nations of the moving uh, 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 Iraqis, Ara uh, Iraqis uh, uh, labs. Anyway, thank you very much for being with me again today. Be fair, right? Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth, and be just, not like uh, Mr. Charles Michel. See ya.